going on guys moose 78 back at you with another episode of stories from the road we are on episode number 11. hope everyone's doing well today by the way and we're going to pick up the discussion that uh, we started last episode episode number 10 where we talked a little bit about the uh, battlefield one trailer reveal the call of duty reveal and kind of talked about the community's reaction there if you got anything you want to add to that discussion by all means please feel free to leave a comment down below love hearing from you guys Last episode, we made our delivery to Battle Mountain, Nevada. Now we're heading down to Bakersfield, California. And just real quick, what the series is, it's my Let's Play series. Of course, I do some in-game commentary on my driving and whatnot. Then I also threw in some random discussions and topics. And like I said last week, we talked about the Battlefield reveal, Call of Duty reveal. At the start of that video, I said we had a lot to talk about, and we still do. Uh, there's still so much going on out there in the gaming industry, out in the tech industry. Uh, we didn't get to it last episode, so we're going to get to it today. NVIDIA recently announced... There are two new flagship cards. Uh, I'm sure everyone saw all the stuff on social media and stuff about the 10. Just everything leading up to it was 10. And it is indeed the 10 series cards. Uh, the 1070 and the 1080. And I'm indeed going to just fly around this corner like a jackalope. Yeah! <laughs> Went to drop gears, and instead of dropping gears, I grabbed one. Whoops. Whoopsie. But no, they uh, they dropped their uh, 10 series cards, the 1070, the 1080, and damn. Damn. Those cards are pretty freaking impressive. The 1070 outperforms the Titan X as does the 1080 both quite a bit faster and a lot more affordable the Titan X was right around $1,400 so very much you know an enthusiast card not something that everyone's gonna be able to afford the manufacturers uh, suggested retail price for the 1070 is just under $400 right around $380 so that is a deal. When you look at the performance, you're going to be getting from that card. That card is going to be a monster card. The one I kind of got my eyes on is the 1080. Kind of watching the road there for a second. Make sure I wasn't going to do anything else stupid today. But uh, kind of the card I got my eyes on is that 1080. That thing is an absolute freaking monster of a card. Price on that right out of the gate is going to be right around $700, $600, $700. And I've just been watching a couple videos on that. Uh, And just, yeah, my mind is freaking blown. Because it looks like both cards just below the uh, Titan X, which the Titan X has been the flagship card from NVIDIA, just blows it out of the water. And it's, you know, half the price or even less if you're looking at something like the 1070. So hopefully I can upgrade to the 1080 at some point in time this year. And I'm tempted to, tempted to get it right at launch and go for something like the Founders Edition which all the Founders Edition is, and thanks to uh, Joker Productions and uh, Jay's Two Cents for clearing that up for the community, the, all the Founders Edition is, it's just the reference card. But I, man, I'm 
tempted to get that uh, 1080 right out of the gate, but I kind of want to see what some of their board partners like EVGA and ASUS and stuff like that, kind of curious to see what they come out with uh, when they're able to release their versions of the 1080 later on this summer. like I talked about a couple episodes back it's starting to get a lot more affordable to get into PC gaming but not just to get into PC gaming to actually get a pretty good system for a fairly reasonable price and the 1070 is going to do a lot of people pretty good especially if you SLI that thing you'll get some pretty damn good performance no doubt about it but uh, with the VR headset starting to drop now, we're going to start to see a lot more beastly cards. They're going to be able to, you know, push the uh, limits of VR. Not really something I'm interested in, the VR side of it. But all the gains you can get from these cards is going to be phenomenal. Sounds like uh, if you're running uh, NVIDIA surround and have like a three monitor setup or something like that, Sounds like they've also went back and fixed a lot of the issues with uh, NVIDIA Surround. So I'm interested to see some benchmarks for the 1080. Those will probably start dropping, or by the time this video goes live, those probably already have started to drop. And if they haven't, I imagine those will probably drop here pretty soon. So I think the Founders Edition has a release date of around May 27th, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, if you're looking to upgrade your PC, if you're looking to build a new PC, right now is pretty much the time to do it. Because even if you're not going to get the new 10 series cards, prices should start dropping on the 900 series and the 700 series and stuff like that. I don't know, Intel's released some new processors here recently. And I'm always, always looking to upgrade and build a new PC. I just love tinkering around, tinkering around with that stuff. We are going to be sitting at this intersection for a little bit, I bet. Hopefully this is one of the intersections that gets fixed in the next update. ATS. That's another thing we got to get to as well. Sounds like they are in closed beta testing. I'm not sure if by the time this video goes live, if the open beta or the public beta will be released, but uh, sounds like we're going to be getting that. At least uh, my assumption is so we should be seeing that pretty soon. Good job, Moose. Yay, way to completely miss your gears.
Take an outside look here. We don't do that a whole lot. There is the truck. Old reliable. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. But uh, what little bit I've read about the upcoming uh, Arizona DLC sounds like they've went back and they've started to redo the road systems quite a bit. A lot of new prefabs, intersections. So I'm really curious to get out there and check out the open beta once that drops. I know a lot of people have been pretty upset of how long it's taken to get the Arizona DLC. I think the game's been out just a little over th around three months now. Nope. No, no, get back there. And this is my first day on the job here, so good night. There we go. Hello. Missing those damn gears like they're going out of style. I don't want to get too far in depth with the uh, upcoming Arizona DLC because I think I'm going to do another uh, news video, number three, on that. You guys seem to like those, and those typically do pretty well, so try to save the American Truck Sim news stuff for its own separate video. And then just a little bit more uh, gaming news. I don't know if by the time this video goes live, because I usually do these about a week in advance. Or at least a few days in advance of uh, when they actually go live. So by the time this goes live, not sure if the division will have been patched yet or not, but a 1.2 patch is going to be dropping for that pretty soon. And I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, the Division's a game I've been waiting for for the last couple years. When I first seen some stuff about it, uh, read some stuff about it a couple years back, I was pretty excited. Loved the concept of it. And tried to stay as informed as I could about it uh, leading up to the release and everything. And of course, pre-ordered it, got it, 
right out of the gate, played the crap out of it, and just loved it. But unfortunately, one of the things that's really plagued that game, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, is there's a large hacking problem in the game. A lot of cheats, a lot of exploits, a lot of boosting, things like that, that just kind of ruin the experience for a big part of the community that is playing the game the way it's meant to be played. I know they've addressed that, and they're working on that, making that a little bit better for everyone. Uh, they went from like a three-day ban to 14 days. So that seems to have helped a little bit. Uh, I've not went into the dark zone a whole lot here lately just because of all the hacking problems. But I know the last couple of times I have, it's been, been a little bit better. I've not run across any hackers myself the last couple times, but it's literally just been, you know, two or three times over the last probably three weeks that I went into the dark zone. So hopefully that continues to get better. But uh, the thing I'm most excited for is they're going to kind of fix the loot system because it's very much a loot-driven game. And now you're going to get better drops more frequently instead of, you know, one of the big problems when you go into the dark zone is you pretty much get 182 gear and that's, you know, that's pretty much it. And then you always get a crap ton of advanced performance mods when you kill uh, high-end named elites, which is just kind of a waste. So now you're going to, uh, guns are going to drop more frequently, some high-end guns. Some higher level guns, some 214s, maybe even some 240s. So I'm really excited uh, for that patch to drop and see what that does for the game. If that starts to get people uh, coming back to the game. Because it seems like the player numbers have dwindled a little bit here uh, recently. That is just good, clean fun right there, kids. That's pretty cool. Gotta say, I'm really digging this sound mod. And if you guys haven't noticed, uh, there is a link down in the video description for a spreadsheet that has all the mods that I'm currently using. Uh, sure, it's a lot of the same mods you guys are using, but uh, just figure out how to put that together. Got the idea from Squirrel. that I'm using, where I got them at, and all that good stuff. So check that out. I will update that periodically with new mods that I've added or mods that have been updated.
think the Jake brake sound on this engine mod is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. All right, guys, go to go ahead and start to wrap this one up today. As always, thanks for stopping by, watching, hanging out, and supporting. It's greatly appreciated. If you like today's video, just go ahead and like and share it. It just helps me out a bunch. And if you're new to the channel, take a look around. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. Until next one, guys, take care. We'll be seeing you. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the link in the description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, click my NoScope affiliate link also down in the description. And if you want more ATS content, click on the video to check out my Stories from the Road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.